Hello everyone. Today we are going to plot the transfer characteristics of NMOS transistor. That means first of all we will prepare a schematic of uh, NMOS transistor in LTS Spice. After that we will plot the curve between the current ID and the voltage VDS for different different values of VGS. So let us start by preparing a new schematic. So I will click on new schematic. This is the window where I am going to prepare a new schematic circuit of an NMOS transistor. From the components I will write NMOS. As already discussed I can either select NMOS or I can select NMOS 4. The difference is that in NMOS 4 the body terminal has to be connected to the ground externally. However in NMOS this uh, body terminal is already connected to the ground. So I will take NMOS and uh, place it here. Now I have to take two voltage sources. First voltage source will be for VGS and the second voltage source will be for VDS. So this is my voltage source for VGS and this is my voltage source for VDS and I will get rid of this extra icon by pressing right click from my mouse. After this I will provide ground to my device v NMOS and the two voltages VGS and VDS and connect all of them using the pencil. This pencil represents the wire. Okay, yes. After this next thing comes is to provide the voltage to V1 and V2. So for more clear understanding let me rename V1 as VGS and rename V2 as VDS. Now for VGS and VDS I have to provide the voltages. So let us provide VDS as uh, say 5 and VGS also as 5. Okay. Yes. Now uh, in the simulation command when uh, the sim on the simulate uh, icon I will go to edit simulation command. Now since I want to see the DC sweep means I want to check the value of uh, ID versus VDS for different values of VGS. So I will go to this DC sweep. Now one thing has to be always kept in mind there are three sources available here. First source is always the quantity or always the parameter that we want to see on the x axis. Since we want to see the curve between ID versus VDS that means on x axis I want VDS. So the name of the first source to sweep is VDS. Type of sweep has to be linear. Now my voltage is uh, going to 5 volt so I will take the start voltage 0 and uh, stop value as 5 means my um, x axis will see the variation from 0 to 5 and the increment should be as small as possible. Let us take a 0 0.1. Why I am taking it as 0 0.1 is because when I will plot the curve I want that curve to be uh, you know very smooth. I don't want the curve to have sharp steps. So if I want to prevent those that sharpness in my curve and I want very smooth curve of ID. So I will take this value to be as small as possible that I have taken a 0 0.1. Now the second source is VGS. Now I want to plot VGS for uh, I mean I want to plot ID versus VDS for different values of VGS. Let us plot uh, this curve for three values of VGS that is 3 volt, 4 volt and 5 volt. So my start value is 3. My stop value is 5 and my increment is 1 means it will start from 3 go up to 5 with an increment of 1 volt and place this here. Now all the schematic is ready and simulation command is ready I have to run it. So I will press on run. Now to see the curve I usually uh, tell the window vertically because it is more feasible to plot like this. Now. Uh, to start uh, me the, this measuring this as we can see that this red icon red symbol represents the voltage but I want to measure current so I will move it slightly towards the transistor and it becomes black in color. Now you can easily see this is the uh, characteristic means this is the uh, uh, transfer characteristics of NMOS as we are well aware that the actual transfer characteristics look like this means ID versus VDS for different different values of VGS. The same we are obtaining in this also. 
Now, if we want to make this curve more realistic, we have a provision of adding the model files. Now, what is a model file? A model file is a text description which has the uh, definition or we can say which has the uh, values of different uh, design parameters of a device. Here, I can add the model file for my NMOS device. I have already saved one uh, model file in my notepad. As you can see, this is the model file. It has parameters like TOX, that is the length of the oxide layer, the phi value which we use for the threshold voltage calculation, U0 is the mobility and uh, similarly there are so many parameters. In these parameters, we have important parameter like threshold voltage also. So what I can do is, I can select this copy, okay. Now uh, first I will close this simulation, yes. Then I will go to this dot op, spice directive. I will click here and now here I will paste my model file and click on OK. And this is the way we have we can include the model file for our device. Now you can get this model file from internet also. You can google it and type, type like model file for NMOS and give the technology like 180 nanometer technology or if you want 90 nanometer technology whichever technology you want to go for you can go. After including this model file I will run again. And let us see what happens now. See. Now you can see that there is a slight variation. Uh, in the previous graph, we were seeing that uh, this line was somewhat like this, okay? Means it was not very ideal. Now it is giving me exactly the graph that we have always wanted, like this, right? This is the curve which we usually see in books. And now we are getting the same curve. So this is the advantage of adding a model file. Now, uh, this is how we are going to plot the curve between ID and VDS for different values of VGS. This is the value of VGS 3, 4 volt and 5 volt. Uh, now, coming back, I can also plot a curve between ID and VGS means uh, this is the curve that I am talking about. When I plot a curve between ID and VGS, then after the threshold voltage only my uh, current will be seen to rise. So I can change the value of this threshold voltage and observe the variation in my curve. How can I do that? Let us see. First of all, I have to edit this edit simulate. I have to edit the simulation command. So I'll ri uh, right click on it. Now I want VGS on my X axis. Therefore, I will remove VGS from my second source like this simple. And in the first source, instead of VDS, I will write VGS because I have to plot ID versus VGS and VGS has to be on X axis. Now, the value has to go from 0 to 5 with an increment of 0 0.1 so that, the, so that we observe the curve very smooth and click on OK. This is the uh, command has been changed. Now, as we see that in this model file, the value of with the threshold voltage is 0 0.8. Let us change this value from 0 0.8 to per se uh, 2 volts and click on OK. Now I will run this circuit and tile the window vertically. Now I will use this black symbol and yes, now you can see very clearly that my curve is starting only after 2 volts, right? Why is this happening? Because in my model file, I have made the value of the threshold voltage as 2 volt. So the ID current will start only after reaching this threshold value means when VGS will be greater, the applied voltage on the gate terminal will be greater than the threshold voltage, my current ID will start increasing. Now you can also check the variation in the curve. How? Like uh, instead of VTOS2, let us make it as 3 okay close this and again run it tell the window vertically and now you can see after 3 volts my uh, current is starting to rise so this is how you can plot the graph between id and vgs uh, i hope that i have uh, explained the characteristics of nmos device clearly to you